Hi everyone. I'm gonna show you guys my plum tree. Oops. The sun's rising. So. Don't wanna get a good picture. Let's see. So there's the tree tree canopy and there's a full view of the tree leafed out so this tree every year for some reason um, when spring comes this tree is the one tree in my backyard that gets affected by um, pests and little critters and uh, out of any of my trees this one always gets attacked for some reason the little aphids and the little mites and stuff they like this tree so if you can see it's it's leafed out and there's fruit there's plums this is a Santa Rosa plum and we are in April still um, it's almost, I think we have one week left in April. And so this tree, uh, when it started leafing out and spring came, uh, it's, it got infested by aphids and mites. I don't know if you can still see some left on the tree. They're pretty much gone. Um, I have a lot of ladybug activity. On this tree I think just because they know that there's food for them to eat that's why I love the ladybugs but it it doesn't have a heavy fruit set but it there's enough fruit on there um, I did have to go uh, I did pruning in the winter like right before spring and then I had to go back and do a little bit more pruning. I've never done that before. Um, after it was already leafed out like a, few, like a week ago or two, I had to do a little bit more pruning because it, it wasn't looking good. Um, the, the pests, the aphids, and the mites really affected uh, the tree. The leaves started to curl and it, they were just sucking the life out of the tree. All of the new leaves looked a little bad, like they were curling and they looked, they didn't look good. There's a ladybug. And when, when it was really badly infected with the critters, um, the ladybugs weren't out yet and just, they came out, I don't know, a week, maybe, a week ago. Um, and they're taking care of the problem for me. It, the tree's starting to look much healthier. Like these are some healthy leaves. And these are some leaves that were affected. See all the, they're curly by the aphids and the mites. But I don't want to put any chemicals or pesticides is my backyard. In my backyard, all of my trees are organic. And uh, I want to just keep it that way. Here's a little ladybug doing its job. They're doing pretty well. The trees just, look, it, it's looking so much better. Nice, healthy leaves. The fruit has set, it did drop a lot of fruit. That's just because we get high winds. Sometimes, like this next week, we're gonna get winds like uh, 25 mile per hour winds going from 16 all the way to 25 for four days straight. So, I hope we don't lose too much fruit. But I don't see a lot of aphids anymore, I don't see a lot of mites anymore, um, but I do see a lot of ladybugs all over this tree. So it's just nature's way of keeping things in balance. Um, 
I haven't seen any praying mantis, but I get excited about those too. But I haven't seen them any yet. I know they were in my garden. So I don't know if they haven't hatched yet or they're not in they're not in the garden this year. But there's a plum. And I want it to grow bigger. It's got an, a nice open center. Very nice open center to get some airflow. This is a Santa Rosa plum, and this is the only tree that got attacked by um, by the little mites and the aphids. Uh, for some reason, it's always they always gravitate towards this tree. They like this tree. I don't know. This tree always has more pest problems, but the ladybugs usually will take care of it for me and it's starting to look healthy again. All right, so that's my Santa Rosa plum. It's got a nice fruit set, not a heavy one, but an okay fruit set. See the plums everywhere you see. There's a close up of the fruit. So when my fruit starts to ripen in my backyard, I will uh, make a video so you guys can see my harvest that I got off my trees. Um, so I'll do another video when the root, the fruit ripens. It's kind of hard to do uh, a video of harvesting this fruit because it turns red and yeah out of all the trees this one attracts the birds and they I have to get I have to try to beat the birds to the fruit. I don't mind sharing with them but I don't get a lot yet. So when I have a lot of fruit, then I wouldn't mind sharing with them. But since it's still small and I don't get a lot of fruit, I want to, you know, keep as much as I can for myself. But the fruit is bright colored, red and purple, and the birds are attracted to this tree because of the bright color. So I have to beat the birds to the fruit. And sometimes um, I don't. Sometimes I have fruit that's a little pecked, which I still eat. I don't mind a little peck. But yeah. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. I will make another video for you guys um, when I get a chance. All right. Bye.